Hey everybody, welcome back to Mr. Prentice's classroom, aka my closet. There's some new artwork in the background, even some NASA emblems. So today our focus is going to be on the seventh planet from the sun, Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. And don't forget, the sun is a big star in which all of the eight planets orbit around. So let's go ahead, let's jump in and learn about Uranus, which is the seventh planet from the sun. And then don't forget, tomorrow we have a Zoom session. Um, to be able to access that, go on to Google Classroom, and I'll have the link and the passcode, and I will see you guys then. All right, bye, everybody. All right, let's talk about that seventh planet, Uranus, also known as the sideways planet or the ice giant. So here it is, big, blue, and beautiful. All right, let's take a look at some of the pictures that they have on here that are really unique. As you can see that it has some rings and the one thing that we'll talk about here shortly is how it spins on its side. Here's a couple other pictures. Very beautiful. So one thing about it is huge. It's four times wider than Earth. So if Uranus was a basketball, Earth would be the size of an apple. It's crazy. It's also known as the ice giant. Uranus is an ice giant. Most of its mass is high dense fluid of icy material, water, methane, and ammonia above a small rocky core. And it has 27 moons. One other thing that's very important is that it's lifeless. It cannot support life, which means people cannot live on it that we know of right now. Let's go check out the other website that we always like to look at. All about Uranus. Uranus is made up of water, methane, ammonia fluids above a small rocky center. Its atmosphere is made up of hydrogen and helium like Jupiter and Saturn, but it also has methane. The methane makes Uranus blue. Uranus also has faint rings. The inner rings are narrow and dark. The outer rings are brightly colored and easier to see. Like Venus, Uranus rotates in the opposite direction as most other planets. And unlike any other planet, Uranus rotates on its side. I'm sideways. Isn't it crazy? Very unique. So, as I mentioned on the other website, okay, Uranus is known as the ice giant instead of a gas giant. Some other things that are really interesting is that one day would only be 17 hours. But if we're talking about years, a year is how long it takes the planet to go all the way around the sun and back. So on Earth, it takes 365 days, which is what we call one year. For a Uranus to go around the sun, it would take 84 Earth years. Crazy. Okay. Some of its neighbors, once again, Uranus has 27 moons. It's crazy. And don't forget, it is the seventh planet from the sun. We only have one more to learn about, and we'll learn about that on Friday. So, here's some more pictures of Uranus. Pretty cool. Very beautiful. One other thing that I'm going to have on our Google Classroom today that you can check out before you fill out your Google form, if you would like, about Uranus, is this uh, NASA video from National Geographic. It's pretty cool. Here's a little bit about it. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. From a distance of about 20 astronomical units, or 20 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, Uranus orbits the star once every 84 Earth years, approximately the length of a human's entire life. This orbit causes each season of Uranus to last that much longer. Theoretically, a human living on Uranus would experience the four seasons only once, but each for about 21 years. So as they're saying, here's Uranus, and it's going around the sun. And the average lifespan is about 80 years, which means you would only see the spring, the summer, the winter, and the fall one time in your entire lifetime. That's crazy. So, our topic of discussion today was the seventh planet, Uranus. Tomorrow we'll talk about, or on Friday we'll talk about Neptune. And don't forget, tomorrow we have our Zoom session. So be sure to check in and say hi. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day.